the written data from SAP would be in XML format as you can see here this is the file which is generated with the output data then the map shape I am using to convert this data into CSV format as you can see here after the map shape the data is converted into the CSV format after the data is converted I am saving this data into the specific folder where the atom is installed if you see if you see this folder a new file which is generated here on the date with the current date you can see the 17 records here which we got from SAP and saved into the specific folder so this is the framework we have developed here to get the data from SAP now I will be running the same process with a different input to get the data from SAP I'm not giving any GL account so it will be getting all the GL accounts data belonging to company code 1000 between the dates 1-1-2014 to 18-4-2016 as we have seen the previous process got the 17 records now I am running the same process again to check how many records we are getting from SAP into Dell Bumi. After the process is completed, the file will be saved into the output folder as we have seen with a different file name. Now the process is completed. Let's see what is the output. As you can see, there is a new file which is generated here. With many number of records. With different GL accounts details. So this is the process of getting the data from SAP to into Dell Bumi and in this process we have saved in a atom sphere work directory but in real time we can save this in FTP or in any SQL server MySQL server or in any other places in this session I'll be demonstrating you about the integration between Delbumi and SAP using standard SAP RFC or BAP. In this, we have used a standard BAP uh, from SAP in the Delbumi process. This BAP is used to get the customer open items from SAP. BAPI AR ACC get open items with this BAPI we can get the customer open items as per the current date if you see this process this process is also similar to the previous process 
of integration between the Elbumi to SAP using custom RFC. For this process, we have maintained the input, fi input file in the same folder with a different name. As you can see, it's customer open items. Here, I have maintained different line items with the different customer numbers and the current date. This can be any date from which you want the customer open items. So here I have maintained the customer code, the company, company code, customer code and the date. So first it would be getting the input file from the folder then it will be splitting the input file into different items and passing, to the, passing it to the SAP system as an input separate input and getting the data saving into the output file location SAP demo it would be generating a different file name here we will run this process by selecting the atom This process will be reading the input file and getting the data for the two different customers we have maintained in the input file. To see what is the what are the data that we got from the input file. We can see in the next step of step where we are getting the data now this process is completed we can see how many number of records that we got here for each customer there are two files which is generated in this process I have saved the individual customers items separately in individual files so these are the records which we got for the first customer and the next one is the second file for the second customer and we have saved these two files in the location here as you can see here there are two, two new files which are generated with the customer name preceding to it so these are the items open items of the customer which we are getting it from SAP system hope you are clear about the integration between SAP to Delbumi using standard SAP or BAPI